All right, he's uh, got his helmet on. I still have some adjusting to do on it. I'm going to see if I can't put some kind of design on here. Um, but I, I'm not sure I'm going to do that yet. I put a, a dent in his helmet there, and I got a few scars from sword strikes on his uh, helmet. And uh, just to show a little wear and tear on it. It looks better than it did before, I think. But anyway, um, it'll really come together when I get, once I get the hair and the beard and all that stuff uh, going. If I even put a beard on it, I don't know yet. Anyway, I mean not a beard, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to put hair on his head yet. I'm going to decide that tomorrow. Time to play with some clay. Just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today and I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something like subscribe click the bell and make a comment in my videos and check out my instructional DVDs which are linked below this uh, video all right let's get on with today's video all right, the helmet uh, has a face mask, and uh, where is it? Okay, I made a pattern for a ma uh, mask that, or helmet that I uh, took offline. There's a guy that, uh, I can't remember what the name of his channel is. I'll put it up, uh, a link to it in the, uh, in the description. Well, I'll just talk about it here. But anyway, it's going to have a kind of a neat, looking uh addition to the helmet right here um he went through five videos on how to make a viking helmet and i thought it was really really informative all right i'm going to use uh my caliper needle to trace this move this helmet out of the way All right, one down, one more to go. All right, I got to start making the tacks, the the uh, rivets that go into the uh, helmet. And they've got to all be the same size, so it's a.
there's a band that runs from there to the back and i'm i kind of like that design i mean this is basically eye candy this helmet is and i'm going to try to make it as eye candy ish as i can make it <laughs> so i'm going to make a strap that goes from one side to the other and i'm going to try to just eyeball this the best i can Cut it real slow. I've made this uh, strip a little bit, about half as thick as the uh, metal stays or whatever they call those uh, things, those four things that go across. I don't know if this is going to work. Let me see if it does. Perfect. And see, would he go across there and then it would. It just adds a little bit, not a lot, but just a little to the design of the helmet. This ruler that I'm using is, is a uh, metal bar that goes through a file cabinet file that allows it to hang on the bars. I took it out because I find it more useful as this than uh, for the file. Looks pretty damn good. Well, as I've done many times before, I'm going to paint the uh, clay to look like the clay, hopefully. This just makes it less confusing uh, to the eye, especially when I photograph the clay and try to sell copies of the bronze from the clay in a precast type of uh, situation. It doesn't harm the uh, piece at all. It, it all comes out looking like bronze when I cast it. There's no difference between a painted piece of uh, material and uh, regular clay. Alright, I'm back on the face. Now, I'm mindful that a lot of the detail that I'm going to be putting in right now is not going to be fully seen because of the shadow cast by the helmet, but it's still got to be there. And so I'm going to work on his eyes and uh, fine tune his face a little bit. And uh, I'm going to do a little experiment on the beard and hair. 
um, but I can't do the hair until that uh, helmet back there in the back uh, dries completely. So that's going to be about an hour or so. Okay. I'm going to start his beard is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you what I'm thinking of doing. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. Quite honestly, it's the first time I've ever tried this method. And I just had a thought about it while watching oh, something town. It was, it, it was a kid's show, and I can't think of it name of the damn show now happy town or anyway i was watching an episode the other night and i just thought it was so funny but i was looking at the hair texture on the uh characters and uh thought wow that's i think i know how i can do that i liked the hair texture Anyway, if I can find the right blinking tool. So I run a tool. A, a looped tool across the uh, block of clay and it sheds kind of a neat pattern for clay and I'm thinking about trying that to make the beard anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on his uh, face and uh, fine-tune it first I want to give him more of an upper lip. That I got. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do on this face. All right, I got both eyeballs uh, lined up perfectly and spaced perfectly. I even got little tiny pupils in them that I put into the pupils with the end of a ballpoint pen. Worked out beautifully. Both are exactly the same size circle, so that works out too. What I'm doing right now is putting clay around the eyeball to solidify it in its place so it won't be moving on me. And I'm just using a small ball tool to do that. And I'm being very careful not to move the eyeball while I'm doing this. That would defeat the purpose. It's been almost an hour since I painted that helmet and it's still shiny in places, which means it's still wet. I can't wait to see what it looks like on him. Okay. I got the eyes started. Got kind of a 
sad, kind of hopeful look in the lit, upper lid of his eyes. I kind of like that. Well, my one camera quit on me because it ran out of battery. You don't realize how much I don't put in my videos. I edit my videos from probably three hours down to 10, 12 minutes. So there's a lot of stuff that doesn't get in. Well, this just shows you that the uh, face mask does fit over his face nicely and his eyes are completely exposed in the uh, but see this is what I'm saying the eyes are just not going to show up all that well unless the overhead lighting is in the right position but even then it's not going to show up well, which is sad, but uh, that's the way it is. I like, well, maybe I'll put, put it to a side like that, to kind of uh, show the eyes a little bit better. All right, that's going to be it uh, for tonight. I've got his hair to put on. Um, i got to fill in underneath the uh, helmet uh, so that... Uh, I can cast it. I got to do the ears and the beard and all that stuff. So I got a little work to do, but it's getting close. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.